In this problem, we're analyzing this pattern right here. We have the first step, right? Here's a square made from four rods. In the second step, we have a square made from 10 rods. In the third step, we have uh, not a square made from 10 rods, but this shape made from 10 rods. And this pattern, like a, this shape, like a stepping pattern, is made from 18 rods. So one step, four rods, two steps, 10 rods, three steps, 18 rods. Now, my first approach, even before I read the question, is to really set this up into a table. The step number, right, one, two, and three, leads us to different numbers of rods. What? Well, four and 10 and 18. So I notice this is not linear because when my step goes up by one here, the increase is by six, plus six. But here when I go up by one, it's not up by six. That would make it linear. It's up by eight. So the amount of rods that are increasing are in fact increasing each time. Uh, but if I take the second difference, in other words, the difference between these differences, I get two. And in fact, if we look at the fourth step, you can construct that. You could probably predict it wouldn't go up by 6 or 8, but by 10. It would go to 28. And that, and you might see it here, if this goes up by 10, the difference between 8 and 10, just like the difference between 6 and 8, is 2. But I'm, I'm showing you this because this is a special scenario, right? When the second difference, that's this one right here, this is, like, is going to help you in a lot of different patterns. When the second difference is constant, and here the constant is 2, it's always the same, then you have a quadratic equation. So a nonlinear but quadratic a equation. And here's what I mean. A quadratic is when your equation has a variable like, let's say, x, and the highest exponent is 2. So that's a good guiding principle here. We're somewhere in the form they're using squared. So here's how I might approach it. Um, you take x would be the step number, right? So in the first one, if you squared the step number, that would be 1 squared. So n, n squared is, they're using n for step number, right? They want to know what formula represents steps n and r rods r. So r has to equal n squared times something plus something or some combination. So if I plug in 1 for the first one and square it, that gives me 1. But I know r equals 4. So what do I have to do to 1 to get to 4? Well, 1 squared is 1. Then I have to take 1 and add 3, right? And now you want to think of 3 in terms of your input because we might not be able to add 3 every time. So we could think of 3 as 3 times the step number. So 1 plus 3 times 1 is 4, and that's the number of rods. So our working formula right now is either r equals n squared plus 3, or r equals what? Well, n squared plus, we tried it here, 3 times 1. And 1 was the step number n, so it's 3n. It's one of these two. Let's try it in the next one. Well, now the second one, our steps is 2. 2 squared is 4, so let's, let's plug this in. So now n equals, oh, try a different color, n equals 2. So so which formula? Let's try the first one. r equals n squared or 2 squared plus 3. Does that work? Well we get 4 plus 3 which is 7 but we need 10 rods so this formula is out. Let's try the other one. Right? Well r equals n squared so 2 squared right? plus 3 times n or 3 times 2. So that's 4 plus 6 and 10. It seems to be working. And this formula is applied to the last case. When n equals 3, right, we should get 18. So r equals what? n squared, so 3 squared, plus 3 times n, or 3 times 3. So 9 plus 9, r equals 18. So this is our working formula. And I see it right here. n squared plus 3n. Uh, this one didn't work, n squared plus 3. This one works as well. It's equivalent. n times n plus 3. Let's look at that. r equals n times n plus 3. Distribute this n. So it's n times n, or n squared plus 3. So times 3 as well, plus 3 times n. That's equivalent. It works. And so does this one, right? n plus 3 times n 
again, distributive property, n times n, n squared, n times 3 is 3, n. we're done. All right, so I hope this helped. Again, you identify this as quadratic, and you know it's going to involve an x squared somewhere. x will always be your input. Here, the input was steps. We plug that into x squared and see what's left to reach our goal. In the first case, it was 4, so it was either n squared plus 3 or n squared plus 3 times 1, um, and the second one worked. So, and if that didn't work, you could try other combinations as well, but this is our working formula. Thanks.